ਹੈਲੋ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇੰਸ਼ੋਰੈਂਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਥੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਜਨਰਲ ਲੈਵਲ 1 ਸੋ ਦ ਮੇਨ ਪਰਪਸ ਆਫ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਇਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਪ੍ਰਪੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਆਈ ਡਿਨ ਸੀ ਅ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਰਿਲੇਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਕਮਿੰਗ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੋਰਸ ਆਫ in coming like people can work students can work in this sector and it it is just a certification anybody can take this certification so what is actually general level 1 exam so basically it's a, an exam to be a insurance agent so this video is particularly according to alberta that is I'm talking about at Menton City. So, how it works is firstly you have to get register yourself with a course provider. So, the course provider will allow your uh, allow yourself for the exam. That is the after having G all qp general level qualification program certificate then you will be allowed to challenge aic exam that is alberta insurance council the so this exam this particular exam is conducted by aic so this is the very first step so to look for a course provider there are many the first one is um, Jane Davis so you can search her name on Google you will get uh, her um, website link then you can register yourself and her course fees is nearly 387 so that's like the basic course for general level 1 it's an online course and you can talk to her if she provides in person classes that's up to you the another one is PIC so this is kind of little bit cheaper but yeah you can also uh, get certificate to challenge AIC exam from them as well then there is insurance institute of canada that's quite expensive that's a public body and uh, you will see a long list of course providers but you have to have a course provider who can certify you who can give you permission to challenge the final exam so this is the very first step so after that once you did the course you have done the course and you are good to go for i for this exam aic exam then this exam is uh, conducted every friday and there are three time slots 8:30 like the morning afternoon and evening that is uh, 4 to 6 sorry 2 to 4 if i'm not wrong the one is something 11 to 1 so these three slots are there you can choose any and uh, it is so flexible like you can book an exam like 2 uh, hours ago as well it's just a matter of being there at the venue so here in edmonton the venue is in downtown menu place sorry menu life that's the name of the building where they generally conduct and it's at uh, floor number 27 so then once you have taken your exam and then you can they will send you result like in 20 minutes so they will send you an email whether you have passed your exam or not and it is like 70% a candidate have to score 70% to pass this exam if it is lower than 70% then it means that you fail the exam so this is all about the exam the thing so what is now general level insurance exam so basically this exam has like this is introduction to insurance world so the very easy and um, direct example is like here we deal with home insurances mainly and auto insurances 
so home means it can be like or you can say the good word is property insurance so it could be a home it could be a building it could be a shop it could be anything so what are the factors what are the um, things which are covered by these insurance companies that you would study under home insurance and the exam is all about this thing and the second part of the exam is all about auto insurance like what is like auto means vehicles so vehicle could be personal your private vehicle like your car or it could be a commercial vehicle if you guys are maybe in any kind of business if are you are using your car for uber or skip the dishes then that vehicle becomes commercial when your app is on so this is like what you are gonna study in this particular exam and there are many different words you which you may hear for the first time because in my case i was hearing everything for the first time i never had any idea about insurance i never put any interest in insurance but yeah when i come to know about that uh, this sector has a good career opportunities that was a very motivating factor for me so i opted for it because uh, it's a really very easy it's really very like uh, good to work in an office especially if you are in alberta where there is snow all the time and you have a office you have a chair to sit and to work that would be fantastic so that's a good motivation factor for you guys and i hope this video will be of a use to you guys if you have any other question you can mention in the comments i will be more than happy to answer those thank you so much